the Coriolis meter is actually a mass flow meter uh, and it measures the inertia uh, in Norwegian that would be treghet of uh, flow. Imagine that you have a flow in here uh, and this pipe here is rotating. So it's rotating around and around. And you have a flow of uh, peas uh, or balls of some manner. And uh, when they flow, when the, when they go from here, they actually they just rotate around themselves. But when they are up here, they have a, a high rotational velocity. So they need to be given the velocity and they are given the velocity from the pipe wall. And uh, when you go back here again, they have to reduce the velocity. So they are giving the reduction in velocity um, in the rotational velocity they are given from the pipe wall. So he, when you accelerate and deaccelerate the particles in the flow, you will actually get some twisting of the pipe since the pipe wall has to accelerate and deaccelerate the particles in the flow. Uh, of course, that will also be valid for liquids and even gases. Um, and the higher the flow rate, the more acceleration and the more twisting of the tube. Of course, it's very impractical to have uh, twisting tubes. So instead, you will have uh, very, uh, vibrating tubes like this. Of course, this is shown in a very slow motion but uh, they, they vibrate rather fast. And with no flow, uh, you will actually see that they vibrate parallel, while with a flow, you will see a twisting action like the one you see in the animation from Wikipedia here. And again, you don't need two pipes. You can actually have one pipe uh, alone, and that will uh, still show that uh, vibrating shape. Um, so you measure inertia, hence you measure a uh, mass flow. Uh, so what you need to do is to measure the degree of twisting. You can have, uh, for example, strain gauges here and here, and, uh, and that will pick up the twisting of the pipe. They can measure flow extremely accurately, accuracy, with an extreme accuracy. So they are basically used for high value products, products that are quite expensive. Uh, when uh, you must measure gas or vapor, uh, drops can form. So actually what you will see in, uh, in, a, uh, in a plant is that if you have uh, a Coriolis tube, it will bend upwards if you measure gas and vapor, and it will bend downwards if you measure liquids. So therefore, in that way, if you have a gas and uh, something condensates, for example, the liquid will run out of the pipe, while if you have a liquid and bubbles form for some reason, they will run out of the pipe itself, and therefore you will have a more accurate reading here. Um, uh, you should operate it in the upper part of the flow range uh, to get more accuracy um, and uh, pipe vibration can cause problems during uh, operation so but again remember the they are the, one of the more accurate ones uh, so they are used to measure high value products uh, they use very much in the food industry and uh, also they measure mass flow.